Here's problem 14, 19. A hole is punched in a full milk carton 10 centimeters below the top. What is the initial velocity of outflow? All right, so we have ourselves a milk carton. Might look something like this. And we have a hole in it at some level. And milk starts pouring out. And let's consider two points in this fluid. We have the top of the fluid, let's call that point A. And where the hole is, we're going to call that point B. And we're going to apply Bernoulli's equation for this fluid, which means that the uh, absolute pressure at point A plus one half the density times the velocity at point A squared plus the density G times the height at point A is equal to a constant. So that's equal to the absolute pressure at point B plus one half the density velocity at point B squared plus the density times G times the height of B. Bernoulli's equation. All right, in this case, they're both open to the atmosphere. So we have an absolute pressure of atmospheric pressure bearing down at point A and atmospheric pressure of at point B. And so point, the absolute pressure at point A is atmospheric pressure, and so is the absolute pressure at point B. So those are actually going to cancel out. We also have um, that we can select our reference for our height. So if we select point B as being our zero height, then point A is a height H above that. And hence, um, the height at A will be H, and the height at point B will be zero. So that whole term will be zero. Um, we're also going to say we have a large enough reservoir so that even though we have a hole and we have milk flowing through that small hole, the level at point A is not going to be moving that much. And for all practical purposes, the velocity at point A is going to be basically zero. So we're left with this so far. And um, what we have left, say P naught plus rho G H equals P naught plus one half rho velocity of B squared. And as we said, uh, the P naughts will cancel out for the absolute pressure. So now we have rho G H equals one half rho velocity of B squared. If we divide both sides by the density of the fluid, now get rid of that. Multiply both sides by two and take the square root. And so we have the square root of 2GH equals the velocity of B. Well, where, where have we seen that before? That is conservation of energy. And here it actually even works for a fluid. How about that? So the velocity at point B, which is the hole, is going to equal the square root of 2GH, where H is the height of um, the top of the milk carton above that hole. So this is going to be 2 times 9.8. 10 centimeters is going to be 0.1 meters. And we have the square root of that. And this is going to be equal to 1.4 meters per second. So the velocity speed of the milk coming out of the hole is 1.4 meters per second at point B.